Hello guys, my Hulu back again with another new video and today yes the day has come I'm really making a coding tutorial so as you guys already know from the video thumbnail or video title that uh, it's gonna be a video about how you can integrate like uh, have a gif as a background image of the whole background of the website like the whole thing okay so let's just get started and at the end of the it uh, we will get to see the result and another note uh, for you guys that is i have already prepared a whole blog post about this okay and uh, i will give the links in the description of the of that black blog post you can directly go to that blog post and follow along from there because if you someone who don't like to see tutorials about code you can totally do that so let's just get started okay so here i am in my code editor okay and i have just created the next project with this command uh, wait let me increase the screen size otherwise it would not be visible so so basically i have created a new next project that is uh, yeah yarn create next app uh demo i have named that demo and just created the next app uh, next project and that's it and cd into the demo folder okay so here we have our like uh simple folder system like in the demo app we have public we have styles and that's it in styles we have a global and uh, home module and if i want to run it so let's just run it okay wait what yarn dev okay let it just run uh and i have added the bg.gif in in the public folder of uh this project because obviously when we have to serve something publicly we have to include that image or whatever into this public folder that's how next project gets uh like uh get uh, rendered okay so what i will just do actually i can do it in two ways First of all, I can add it in directly in body tag. That's what I I would prefer. And rather than that, I can create another CSS class named .bg and uh, like add it into whatever. But uh, for the ease of use, I will just go for uh, here, like go for the bg tag over here, not bg tag. <laughs> go for the code over here. So simply use background URL, and that's it background image url and i will just import it from uh, now while importing it you have to just mention the directory that is dot dot public uh then bgif that's it now uh, it will obviously it will not bring that or uh, bring that image and like do or whatever we want to so we have to give a height height or width okay you can give give this uh like uh whatever like whatever your image size refers to like if your image is like you want the width of the image to be uh into the whole page you should consider width like giving width or you can give both whatever you want so i can give width too WIDTH okay with 100% then there will be uh, then we have to uh, make the background image in the whole like whole page so it should cover the cover the whole background so I will see what I will uh, use obviously background cover like background image cover uh, wait okay background size cover then we don't need background repeat background no repeat github go pilot is great so i will just have it and enter it and then background position center what if, what i don't have to even code <laughs> github github is doing everything for me like github go pilot is doing everything for me and that's it that's it 
that simply it and most probably it will not work let me open it in the browser you guys can see it right now because it is in the browser i have to change the window uh for you to get uh, get viewed like so we have a look over it okay so basically our coding job is done now how it works like let me explain how it works okay then we will go to the browser and see the results because there's a, there's nothing much you you know also what's gonna happen so what here is done is basically when i am uh, writing everything down in the global in the body tag obviously it will refer to the body tag and when i'm uh, writing everything down to the global css global css is connected to app page and it is importing everything from the global css to here so i don't have to specifically mention any like any styles like they have mentioned here i don't have to create any styles for this page because the whole css document is imported here so i have to just create the create or like uh, export the background over here okay like uh, yeah why export import the background over here that's it so let me show you the result because that's important so i'm stopping screen sharing and i will reshare the screen now here is the result you can pretty much see what it is right <laughs> now this is this uh background gif is actually from a project of my client now he has given me the permission to show it off like show the project off that's why i am showing you the tutorial with this gif otherwise i wouldn't have but that's it our gif is here we are happy we all are happy and uh that's it uh when the ka client's project will be uploaded like uh will be in the uh space like uh publicly available i will give a link to that domain also where you can see or visit it as well so that would be great you can view the actual actual project that i have did and interact with it that would be much more better much more fun whatever that's it for this video this is my first coding tutorial i don't know why i'm acting weird whatever so if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you like like to see some of the difficult like i also don't know some of the difficult things like uh, the things that you have to think totally differently how easy it was right how easy the was the solution but we were thinking of what can how can we do that how can we do that and all but whatever now it's done that's it so let me know in the comments if you like it or not that's it and if you get stuck with some of the like weird problems let me know let me see if i have stumbled upon those problems or not so i will make i will maybe make some more video tutorials as well so that's it bye for now and visit the blog everything is written down there so bye